How to fix Forza Horizon 4 online not playing on PC. First off, make sure you have an internet connection. Below are some. Tips that may help fix Forza Horizon 4 online not playing on your PC, 1. Remove and reinstall existing Terido adapter. To delete existing Terido adapter, run the following command as admin, netshare interface Terido set state disable. Then delete any Terido. Adapter listed in Device Manager. Restart your Windows. Now, this command netshare interface Terido set state type equals default as admin. See more troubleshooting info at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2amk.com. Xbox app nat type on Windows 10 displays Terido is unable to qualify. 2. Check if Windows, Defender, Firewall is on, make sure that the default policy is active. To see if the Windows Firewall default policy is enabled, right click the start icon, and then select command prompt, admin. Run the following command from the admin command prompt, netshare add firewall show current profile if the following output is present, the default policy is active, firewall policy block inbound allow outbound if the inbound policy is set to allow inbound, Terido will be unable to establish an IPsec connection to other PCs or Xbox One consoles. To reset the firewall policy to the default, run the following command from the admin command prompt, netshare add firewall set current profile firewall policy block inbound allow outbound 3. Turn off third-party antivirus software, example Bitdefender Internet Security, Average Internet Security, etc., as admin. Or, clean boot your windows, this helps see if your PC has a firewall rule blocking Terido network connectivity. To check if this rule is set on your PC, and disable it, right click the start button, and then select command prompt, admin. Run the following command from the admin command prompt, netshare add firewall firewall show rule 4jxr4b3r3276ina39a98x8k2 if you get the following message, the firewall rule is not on your PC, no rules match the specified criteria. If you see a different message showing that the firewall rule is present, run the following command from the admin command prompt. Netshare add firewall firewall set rule name equals 4jxr4b3r3276ina39a98x8k2 new enable equals no 4. Uninstall VPN software and slash or, disable or disconnect any active proxy slash VPN server in IE11. More, tempro. Delete VPN-related network adapter from Device Manager. 5. Check the IP helper service is enabled. 
and look for each of these dependencies in the services list and check each one is running and set to automatic startup type. The one disabled for me was the WinHttp Web Proxy Auto Discovery Service. FYI, check the startup type for the following services to ensure they're set to their default values, I can auth IP IP set keying modules automatic, trigger start, IP helper automatic Xbox Live auth manager manual Xbox Live networking service manual peer networking grouping service automatic press Windows key and search for as reset, run as admin. 6. Enable Xbox Live networking slash Xbox Live auth manager services. 7. Back up your personal stuff, factory reset your own PC. 8. Check if you installed KB4457142. If so, remove that update from your Windows. 9. Follow http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 svstce network ports used by Xbox Live on Xbox One to open or forward ports. Hint, forward the following ports that has always helped you with NAT and Teredo problems. Xbox Live TCP 80 Xbox Live TCP 3074 Xbox Live TCP 53 Xbox Live UDP 53 Xbox Live UDP 88 Xbox Live UDP 500 Xbox Live UDP 3074 Xbox Live UDP 3544 Click Start, type services.msc. In Start search box and hit Enter. Right-click the peer networking grouping service and select Properties. Check if the service is started, if not, right-click and select Start. You may also set the startup type to automatic under Properties. Click OK. Restart your computer. If that doesn't work, do the following steps. Run command prompt as administrator. Type netshare and press Enter. Type in Terido and press Enter. Type set state disabled and press Enter. Type in IPv6 and press enter. Type set Terry. Enter. 11. Connect via a mobile hotspot. Start settings apps apps and features scroll down to Forza Horizon 4. Select it. Click advanced options. Click reset. Restart your system. Check the store for updates. If that does not work, download the following utility at http colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 hd one d Windows 10 Store Apps Uninstaller, PowerShell slash WinForms, and use it to remove current Forza Horizon 4 app. Download and reinstall Forza Horizon via Microsoft Store. 13. Try signing into the administrator account, Comet, Net User Administrator slash Active Yes. 14. See if your PC state or time setting is incorrect. 15. Restore the default firewall settings. 16. Run the following commands as admin. IP protocol configuration slash flushens IP protocol configuration slash registered IP protocol configuration slash release IP protocol configuration slash renew netshare winsock reset catalog netshare in IPv4 reset reset dot log netshare in IPv6 reset reset dot log or this netshare in Terido set state net aware client or this netshare interface Terido set state type equals default 17 run the below command as admin netshare interface Terido set state type equals enterprise client note T is a case of repeating before running the game on each system restart. 18. Type in CMD for command prompt and right click to use as administrator, netshare interface terido set state disable netshare interface set state type equals default netshare interface set state enterprise client netshare interface terido show state netshare interface terido set state server name dash tierdo.remlab.net. Load the Xbox app and go to settings then networking and let it load it. 19. Check if your router has filtered out terido. FYI. That option reads this filter blocks Terido packets. Terido is a tunnel protocol. 
Devices in your home network can build a own IPv6 connection and bypass your router's firewall. Teredo isn't required normally, if your router does support a native IPv6 connection in your home network. Deactivate the Teredo filter only, if a device in your network does require Teredo and it, it is okay for you if some of your devices can bypass the router firewall via IPv6. Type in command prompt, netshare interface Teredo show state. Check what it says. If something is disabled or not okay, type, netshare interface Teredo set state type equals default if above command didn't work, try, netshare in Teredo set state NATO aware client plan B, add a forwarding rule to your router for UDP port 3074. 20. Manually enter DNS server info with 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 instead of having it on automatic. Restart the Windows Update server, mine seems to shut down every reboot. 21. Uninstall your game from the apps list. To ensure that you have the latest Windows updates, click Start and type Updates in the of Research. After upgrading, perform a full shutdown and restart your Windows. Log on to Windows 10 with an administrator account. Use a Microsoft ID to download any free application. Download the Forza Horizon 4 again. Try to play the title again through the library page of Microsoft Store. Run the Microsoft tool at http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2 cnpwsc. Run the following command in PowerShell, get apps package for each add apps package disable development mode register dollar, dollar underscore. Install location, backslash apex manifest dot xml. Check if the time slash. Of your PC is correct. 22. Disable IPv6 in network adapter. 